Welcome to Music Cyclops Course 3, where we're looking at how to write as musicians. When we write, the first thing we've got to get our head around is this unit of meaning called the sentence. Now, sentences are how we logically divide up our thought process into some discrete chunks. And ideally, they just progress in our writing in some kind of a logical manner. So what is a sentence? Well, I'm going to put up here the shortest sentence that's been published that I can think of. It's also the shortest verse in the Bible. It's two words, Jesus wept. We can tell it's a sentence because it starts with a capital and it ends with a full stop. So what does a sentence require to be a sentence? Well, it needs somebody or something to be the star of the sentence, the lead actor. And it needs something to happen. And that star or lead owns the action. And that's all we need. So I really want to avoid uh, grammatical terms as much as we can, but uh, this here is called the subject. So the subject, in this case Jesus, is the star, the center of the sentence. And that person or thing owns the action. So the action is a verb. Bear in mind, Jesus didn't have to actively do something to create the sentence. He could have almost done nothing. Uh, Jesus paused is still a sentence. So when we think of verbs as action words, just remember that being alive itself is considered an action in language. And you can virtually do nothing, and whatever word you use to describe doing nothing, that is a verb, because you're in the state of doing nothing. So let's look at this verb, wept. To qualify as a full sentence, this verb has got to be either in the past, or it's something that is happening now, in the present, or it's something that will happen in the future. So Jesus wept is a complete sentence. Jesus weeps is a complete sentence. And even Jesus will weep. What is not a sentence making verb is an ing ending. Jesus weeping is not going to create a complete sentence. So just to sum up, what makes a sentence? Well, a little bit more of the story. Jesus wept because he saw the family of Lazarus uh, weeping. Uh, they were grieving because Lazarus had died. So Lazarus had received a death sentence. And what did Jesus do in response? Jesus wept. So think of the word sentence, think of the death sentence of Lazarus, the response of Jesus, subject plus verb, which is either in the past, the present or the future, and is not an ing ending.